Thank you for calling Sprawling Meadow Waterfall Gardens, where we think age is just a number, but your health is forever. This is Doris. How can I help you? Hey, this is Dr. Schmidt over at University Hospital. I'm taking care of one of your nursing home residents here in the hospital. I was hoping to talk to her nurse if possible. Sure, let me transfer you. What floor is she on? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll transfer you to the nurse manager. Okay, thanks. Thank you for holding. At Sprawling Meadow Waterfall Gardens, we focus on mental health just as much as physical. That's why we think it would be crazy not to check us out with an in-person tour. Give us a call at 777 Hey, this is Janet. Hey, I'm trying to talk to somebody about my patient, Belinda Jones. Uh, can you spell Jones? J-O-N-E-S? I don't think we have anyone by that name. Are you sure your facility's listed on the paperwork? Hey, Jen, do you know anyone named Belinda Jones? Oh, I see what happened. She was transferred to University Hospital yesterday, so you're gonna have to talk to them. No, I'm calling from University Hospital. What? I need to know when her blood thinner was last given. We sent over her med list. Yes, I received it, but I need to know when the blood thinner was last given. We might need to do a procedure. We sent over all the documentation we have. Oh yeah, I can tell. We got the handwritten med list and then three pages of demographic information. Is there maybe anyone there who was taking care of her yesterday before she was sent to the hospital? You mean Kara? Uh, sure. No, she's off today. Is there anyone else? Well, Sharon, but I guess she quit. Were you there yesterday? No, I never work on Tuesdays. Is there anyone who at least knows Mrs. Jones? She's acting very confused and it's hard for me to tell if that's normal for her. What kind of stuff is she saying? Uh, anything good? What? Like, is she talking about pants on her head or something? The residents here are just a hoot. No, she just doesn't know where she is and she keeps asking for her mother. Her mother's gotta be dead though, right? Right, but I'm trying to- I mean, she'd have to be like 110. Exactly, that's why- That's not even possible, is it? I mean, you're the doctor, I guess. Can I talk to someone else, maybe? Sure, I'll transfer you to Rosa. Sure. Hello? Hi, is this Rosa? Yes. I'm Dr. Schmidt. Do you know Mrs. Jones? Yes. Were you with her yesterday? Yes. Oh, okay. How was she? Fine. Did you give her her blood thinner yesterday? Lysinopril? No, that's her blood pressure. Allopurinol? Do you have a list of the medications you gave yesterday? No. Okay. So how does she act normally? Nice. Does she know your name? Rosa. No, I know that's your name, but I'm wondering if she recognizes people that she sees a lot. She doesn't see me a lot. I thought you were her nurse. I just started yesterday. Oh, okay. I just cleaned the rooms. What? She was nice to me. But you know her medicines? No. Okay, thank you for your help. Do you want to talk to Janet again? No, please, no. All right. Good night, Dr. Spit. Thanks. It's 10 a.m.